Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be going over some of the changes that I've made to my Pegasus deck with uh, Relinquished in it. So just go through what I have working right now. I've been having a lot of fun with this particular deck and they just reset the rankings so everyone that was up in you know Platinum tier, Gold, King of Games, all those areas had to go all the way back down to Silver 1 so I've been trying to work my way back up. Uh, just reached gold today with this particular deck and hopefully I continue to work, work my way up but uh, I have two relinquished in here as well as two black loser and rituals and uh, you get those by obtaining Pegasus and also working your way up through the Toon World event uh, that's been going on recently and first I'm just going to go through the monsters then I'll go through the spell and trap cards so Barrel Dragon one of my favorite uh, monsters in the whole game and I love his effect his ability to um, basically have a 50-50 chance of removing a card from play so if your opponent for instance has a card face down in defense position and you don't want to have it flip and affect you in any way um, using that that effect of the barrel dragon can get that card off the field and potentially get rid of the risks that uh, come along with battling a face down defense position monster and then the other high star monster I have is Sangha of the Thunder and this is another card I really like the effect of once someone declares an attack on you you can reduce their attack to zero so minimally if this guy's in defense position it's going to do 2200 points of damage to their life points and if he's in attack mode it would do 2600 uh, you can only affect or use that effect once but still a great effect and another reason why I bring Sangha of the Thunder is because let's say you're going against a Mako who's gonna have Suijin um, and then you know he probably has his Umi f uh, field effect and that's gonna increase Suijin's attack by 200 but it also is gonna increase this guy's attack by 200 because he's a Thunder and Umi's field effect also increases Thunder by 200 so then this guy's gonna be at 2800 attack and Suijin will be at 2700 attack so uh, you'll be able to outbattle him in that situation. Uh, let's see. I also bring Hain Hain, uh, like his ability of flipping him over to get rid of an opponent's card, especially if I have something like Relinquished or a high star monster on the field. I can have Hain Hain out there, flip him, and get rid of whatever you know face down defense position monster that they might have that poses a threat. And also, it works well. And uh, let's say they have you know. A monster that they had to tribute summon or ritual summon or something like that uh, flipping Hain Hain over and making them put that card back in their hand it could be difficult for them to uh, summon it I also bring Sphere Karibo which is a very common card that people bring even if they don't necessarily have ritual cards uh, its ability to block an attack of your opponent can be game changing but also the fact that I'm Ritual Summoning Relinquished. Um, you know, it can help with that scenario as well. I also bring Yomi Ship because I really like its effect of destroying whatever monster destroys this card. And I also bring a couple of higher attack um, four-star monsters just in case I'm having an issue getting Relinquished out on the field or getting one of my seven-star monsters out on the field. It's nice to have you know, a four-star monster that has high attack and defense, so I'm bringing Arsenal Summoner, and he also has a flip effect where you can add a Guardian card from your deck, so I also bring Guardian of the Throne Room, and also this guy has a pretty high attack and defense for a four-star monster. I'm running two Skellingels in here, another card that I like the flip effect to get that extra draw, which is always coming in handy, and then in this deck I'm bringing three Bubonic Vermins, I really only count this as one card because with its flip effect you can bring these guys out on the field rather quickly so um, you know right now I have 22 cards in my deck but I really only feel like that's 20 given the fact that this guy's you know I'm not going to be wasting draws on this particular card once it's out on the field because of its flip effect and being allowed to bring cards out of your deck right onto the field. Also a card that works really well and synergizes well with uh, monsters that are seven stars or higher because you need those two tributes so if you have a bubonic vermin out on the field you can use its flip effect 
which is going to bring another bubonic vermin out onto the field, and then you can sacrifice those two guys to bring out, in my case, either Barrel Dragon or Sangha of the Thunder. And moving on here to my spell cards, I got Stray Lambs, another card that synergizes very well with seven star or higher monsters because you can put those two lamb tokens out there, and then on the same turn you can set um, your seven star or higher monster in defense position. I also am bringing Shooting Starbow. I figure I need at least one card that either reduces the attack of my opponent or increases my attack, and this one is going to reduce the attack of my opponent by a thousand, so that potentially gives me the option to um, defeat a monster that I might not otherwise be able to defeat with um, the monsters that I have. I always run a D spell in case I want to get rid of a field effect or some other uh, continuous spell card that's on the field. Uh, two Black Illusion Rituals to get relinquished. Uh, I'm bringing a Messissure because I really like its effect. Um, and this card pairs really well with something like Yomi Ship or Hain Hain because you can potentially get two monsters out on the field for the price of one. And then I'm also running two Trap Jammers. Uh, this is a card that I've really, uh, you know, fallen in love with lately. Um, you know, because you go against a lot of guys that have Missizure or other trap cards like Mirror Wall or other really annoying things. And it's just nice to have that trap jammer in your back pocket to um, potentially get rid of these game-changing trap cards. So I'm running two of those right now. Um, you might just want to run one. It just kind of depends on what you're looking to do. But I really have been enjoying having these trap jammers in my deck and... Uh, going to be adding these cards to a lot of the decks that I've made in the past for other characters in this game as well. And then the skill that I'm using is Master of Rights. Oh, I can't look at it unless I'm editing deck, but basically what Master of Rights does is if you take 1800 damage on a turn or more, it allows you to, instead of doing a normal draw, you do a summon draw, which allows you to draw from whatever... Uh, ritual summoning cards you have so in my case it would i'd be drawing from the black illusion ritual and relinquish cards it doesn't guarantee that you're going to get the exact card you want so say you have relinquished in your hands and you use that ability you're going to have a two and three chance of getting the black illusion ritual card and vice versa if you have a black illusion ritual in your hand you're going to have a two-thirds chance of drawing a relinquished in that scenario um, i've been utilizing this skill and it's helped me in sometimes and then sometimes I don't get the cards that I need and it really hurts but uh, it is a pretty unique ability and something that I'd recommend running if you're using this kind of relinquished deck for uh, Pegasus. So that pretty much goes over the cards that I have in this particular deck. I'm going to make a video doing some rank duels right now, right after this, so if you want to check that out, you can just to kind of see this deck in action, and I'll also do a little bit of commentary with that. So uh, thanks guys for watching this video. You can subscribe to get more of this content in the future. If you want to express yourself in the comments or have any questions, you can go ahead and do that, and also any thumbs up are greatly appreciated. So thanks guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.